The final stage of the 2021 Swiss Epic in Graubünden was a 63-kilometer loop through the world-class trails of single-track paradise Davos. Packed with breathtaking scenery and exceptional riding, it brought a fitting conclusion to the 8th edition of the race. There was, however, still 2,200 meters of climbing to be conquered. Um, I've done the, the Swiss Epic since the beginning, and this year particularly, it's uh, it, it's very amazing trails. It's it's uh, just awesome uh, the 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 route they cho they've chosen for us. It's uh, fantastic. We want to control it in the beginning a little bit, and then uh, let's see what the last uh, longer uphill brings, um, the, how we we are feeling there. But um, of course, we 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 try to save. Uh, a little bit energy in the beginning and uh, especially save the jersey and um, bring it home. That's the most important thing today. Heading into stage five, the Goldwurst Power Infinity team of Nicola Rohrbach and Lukas Flukiger held a four minute and 55 second advantage over Buff Scott MTB Racing. In the women's race, Ariane Lutti and Robin de Groot of Gabriel Technologie their advantage was 12 minutes and 15 seconds over the Davos Klosters women. With single tracks aplenty, from early in the stage, the elite men's field was stretched from the gun. One by one, teams fell off the pace set by the yellow jersey wearers Rohrbach and Flukiger. Showcasing their technical skills, the Swiss pair rode away from their rivals, securing their fourth stage victory and the overall title. The Goldwurst Power Infinity team's victory margin was 1 minute and 42 seconds over Hans Becking and Frances Guerra, who finished second on the day. Stolen Stevens Racing's Connie Lawser and Søren Nissen rounded out the general classification podium despite finishing in fourth on the stage. It's very special for us. Um, we both are not the youngest anymore, so we get close to the end of the career. And um, <clears throat> every every race we do at the moment is one step closer to the finish. And uh, now with a week like this at home, and uh, especially with a partner like Nicolas, we, we train a lot together, are really close friends. And uh, the, I mean, the spirit was was super good. And uh, I'm I'm almost a bit sad that the week is already over. The Davos Klosters women were motivated to take the fight to the women's race leaders, but Arleit Morat and Angelika Tatzreiter faded through the stage and had to settle for third. Up front, Luti and De Groot again proved to be in a class of their own, schooling to another win. They completed a clean sweep of stage victories and wrapped up the overall title. Constanza Fasolis and Claudia Peretti was second on the stage, 2 minutes and 45 seconds down. Morat and Tatsreiter finished third, but hung on to second on the general classification ahead of the Olympia RDR Italy team. Definitely one that I had always wished I could do. It came together in one of the strangest years. And um, thank you to Ariane and her sponsor, Gabriel Technology, for making it happen. Um, they really covered all the expenses and made it possible. And also to the people behind us that they work tirelessly sure, for hours and hours behind the scenes, um, just helping us and making sure that we don't need to be running around. So yeah, a great way to finish <laughs> off uh, five days. Amongst the amateurs, Jean-Francois Bossler was on a mission to conquer the Alps and claim his epic legend medal. A fitting reward for completing three epic series legend events, including the Apsa Cape Epic. Fifteen teams also secured their chance to race the Apsa Cape Epic through the epic series qualification process. Um, what I, I really enjoyed more the week and the human experience with my friend riding my bike in Swiss. That was the first time for me to, to do the Swiss Epic. So I'm just happy. That's, that's fine. Thank you guys for all the all your effort of the week and uh, everything you did. It's, it's just amazing. Dead, but it was amazing. If you're hesitating about doing a Swiss Epic, 
just do it. <laughs> Best experience ever. Awesome, just awesome today. It was tough as it should be, but just epic ride, beautiful scenery. The way it should be, thanks a lot. After five memorable days of mountain biking in Graubünden, the Swiss Epic drew to a close. Teams return home with tales from the trails of St. Moritz, Boposchiavo and Davos. And with dreams of returning, save the dates, 16 to 20 August 2022, when the 9th Swiss Epic is said to be staged.